what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a mass question which says find the values of x for which x squared minus x cubed is equal to 3 all over 64. well we have x squared minus x cubed equal to 3 is same as 4 minus 1 all over 64. very good now why did i do it like this it is because 4 is a perfect square that is closer to 3. now our next step will be for us to split this fraction so we have x squared minus x cubed to be equal to this will be 4 all over the denominator 64 minus this will be 1 all over the denominator 64 very good so we have x squared minus x cubed to be equal to now 4 divided by 4 is 1 64 divided by 4 is 16 so that means I'm going to be having 1 all over 16 here minus this is 1 all over 64 very good now this can become x squared minus x cubed equal to 1 is a perfect square so it can be written as 1 squared all over 16 is a perfect square which means it can be written as 4 squared minus now one is a perfect cube which means it can be written as one cube all over 64 is a perfect cube which means it can be written as four cube very good and from indices whenever i have a to the n all over b to the n this is the same as a over b all raised to the n so let's write this and this like this so we have x squared minus x cubed to be equal to this expression now becomes 1 over 4 all raised to the 2 minus this becomes 1 all over 4 all raised to the 3 very good now our next step will be for us to move what we have on the right hand side to the left hand side here we have x squared now as 1 all over 4 all raised to the power of 2 crosses to the left it becomes negative 1 all over 4 all raised to the 2 now I've already got negative x cubed here on the left but as this with a negative crosses to the left it becomes positive 1 all over 4 all raised to the 3 very good now our next step will be for us to factorize this so we have x squared minus this is 1 all over 4 all squared now let's factor out negative now open a bracket this is x cubed now positive times negative will always result negative right very good so we're going to bring this which is 1 all over 4 cubed and then close the final bracket very good this is equal to 0 now our next step will be for us to apply the property of difference of two squares since we have difference of two squares here the property of difference of two squares for example when i have a squared minus b squared this is same as a minus b times a plus b so let's apply this to what we have here that means this expression can be written as x minus 1 all over 4 times x plus 1 all over 4 very good 
and now minus this is x cube minus 1 all over 4 cube equal to 0 very good and now notice that we have difference of two cubes here and difference of two cubes has a property of for example a cube minus b cube this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared so let's express this like this so we have x minus 1 all over 4 times x plus 1 all over 4 minus now this can be x minus 1 all over 4 times x squared plus x times 1 all over 4 and then plus 1 all over 4 all squared just like this and this is equal to 0 so our next step will be for us to simplify what we have here so we have x minus 1 all over 4 times x plus 1 all over 4 minus this is x minus 1 all over 4 times this is x squared plus x times 1 all over 4 is x over 4 and then plus this square affects the 1 and it also affects the 4 so 1 squared is 1 all over 4 squared is 16 very good and this is equal to 0 now notice that x minus 1 all over 4 is common so we can factor out x minus 1 all over 4 and now open brackets now x minus 1 all over 4 times x plus 1 all over 4 divided by x minus 1 all over 4 we're going to have this which is x plus 1 all over 4 minus now x minus 1 all over 4 times x squared plus x over 4 plus 1 all over 16 divided by x minus 1 all over 4 we're going to have this which is let me open a bracket for that x squared plus x over 4 plus 1 all over 16 very good and now close the final bracket this is equal to 0 very good so let's simplify what we have here we're going to be using this negative to open up this inner bracket so that we have x minus 1 all over 4 times this is x plus 1 all over 4 and then uses this thing negative to open up the bracket we have minus x squared the negative times positive is negative this is x all over 4 and then negative times positive is negative 1 all over 16 very good and this is equal to zero and now simplifying this further we have x minus one all over four times now i'm going to be starting with this negative x squared so negative x squared now plus x and then minus x over four so minus x over four and now this is one over four plus one all over four and then minus 1 over 16 minus 1 all over 16 very good and this is equal to 0 now this becomes x minus 1 over 4 now open bracket minus x squared now let's simplify what we have here 4 times x is 4x minus x is 3x so I have 
plus 3x all over the denominator 4. Now, what I have here, let me take this to this side. This is 1 all over 4, and this is minus 1 all over 16. Let's solve this separately. The LCM of 4 and 16 is 16. Now, 16 divided by 4 is 4 times 1 is 4 minus 16 divided by 16 is 1 times 1 is 1. So this is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3 all over 16. So this I have plus 3 all over 16. And this is equal to 0. So I have two cases. The first case is x minus 1 all over 4 is equal to 0 or the second case is negative x squared plus 3 over 4x plus 3 over 16 is equal to 0. Very good. Now for our first case, our x will be when I move negative 1 all over 4 to the right hand side, it becomes positive 1 all over 4. So this is our first solution for x. Now let's move on to our second case. Well, what I'm going to do will be, I'm going to be multiplying through by negative 1. So negative 1 times x squared is x squared. Negative 1 times 3 over 4x is negative 3 over 4x. And then negative 1 times 3 over 16 is negative 3 over 16. And this is equal to 0. Now, our next step will be for us to clear the fraction. In order to do that, we take the LCM of 4 and 16. The LCM of 4 and 16 is 16. And I'm going to be multiplying through by 16, which is the LCM. So this is x squared. I'll multiply x squared by 16 minus, this is 3 over 4x. I'm going to be multiplying this by 16 as well. Minus 3 over 16. I'm still going to be multiplying this by 16. Equal to, this is 0. I'll multiply 0 by 16. Very good. Multiplying through by 16. Now, x squared times 16 is 16x squared minus 4 divided by 4 is 1. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So, 3x times 4 is 12x. And then minus 16 can cancel out 16, leaving behind 3. And this is equal to 0 times 16 is 0. Very good. So this is a nice quadratic equation. And we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. So our a will be the coefficient of x squared, which is 16. Our b is a coefficient of x, which is negative 12. And our c is the constant term, which is negative 3. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So now let's substitute here. So we have x to be equal to negative b. b is negative 12, so I'm going to be putting it in brackets, plus or minus the square root of b squared, remember b is negative 12 squared minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times a, a is 16 times c, c is negative 3. Very good. All over 2 times a. So 2 times a is 16. So this becomes x equal to negative times negative results to positive, so this will be positive 12 plus or minus the square root of 
negative 12 squared is 144. And then negative 4 times 16 times negative 3, I'm going to have plus 192. All over 2 times 16 is 32. Very good. So this becomes x equal to 12 plus or minus the square root of now 144 plus 192 i'll have 336 all over 32 so this becomes x equal to 12 plus or minus well i'm going to be splitting 336 to two factors and one factor is going to be a perfect square so this becomes the square root of 336 is same as 16 which is a perfect squared times 21 all over 32 very good so x now becomes 12 plus or minus now the square root of 16 is 4 this is times the square root of 21 so which is root 21 very good all over 32 so this becomes x equal to this is 12 okay what we're going to do here will be for us to factorize you notice that 4 is common so let's factor out 4 open bracket now 12 divided by 4 is 3 so i'm going to be putting 3 there and now this is plus or minus 4 root 21 divided by 4 i have the square root of 21 very good all over now 32 is same as 4 times 8 right very good so 4 can cancel out 4 so that we have x to be equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 21 all over 8. So there are actually two values of x here. Remember, we've got our first value of x before. So this is going to be our second value, which is equal to 3. Go with the positive plus the square root of 21 all over 8. Now, our third value is equal to 3. Now this time go with the negative square root of 21 all over 8. Very good. Remember our first value? Our first value is 1 all over 4. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care